The Blasphemous Blade is one of the best weapons in the game and this badass weapon even gets stronger when the DLC hit. Using this weapon can hit like an absolute freight train and delete enemies with a few swings when paired with the latest toys out there. I'm the Samurai and I will be covering the heretical Samurai's playstyle, the latest equipment for this build along with useful gameplay tips and more. If you want to get the most out of your Blasphemous Blade, this video is for you. The heretical samurai heavily relies on the blasphemous blade's unique skill to deal the majority of its damage. Not only this skill can almost delete bosses with few skill usage attempts, but also has unique and interesting mechanics. This weapon is undoubtedly one of the strongest weapons in the game as it almost makes the DLC a cakewalk. Paired with hard-hitting incantations that matches the build's theme for more variety and versatility in combat. Normal enemies will be dropping like flies as this build will make you unstoppable. If you like what you are seeing already, I still have ways to make its gameplay even more fun or max out your damage potential even further. Also, we will talk about all the possible challenges that you will be encountering while using this build and learn how to overcome the said challenges, so stay tuned for that. Build playstyle is out of the way, let's move on to the heretical samurai stats. Note that I will be standardizing all of my builds around level 200 and it is up to you if you wish to level up the build past around this level. Starting with Vigor first and I allocated 50 points to Vigor since it is likely that the user will be getting hit while performing the Taker's Flame skill, especially when still adjusting to this weapon skill. You can however adjust it to 60 points if you think you really need more health while adjusting to the build's gameplay. Next is Mind and 30 points were allocated to it. The Taker's Flame costs 30 focus points and you will be using offensive incantations as well while playing this build so 30 points will grant you a decent amount of FP at your disposal. Endurance is next and I have allotted 25 points for Endurance. Spamming the Taker's Flames can quickly deplete your stamina, however since it hits like an absolute freight train, targets will be dying quickly. Fate, Strength and Dexterity are going to be our main stats for this build and 37 points were allocated to Strength and Dexterity and 80 to Fate. You can lower down Strength and Dexterity and allot it to Vigor and to the other stats that you prefer. I prefer more attack rating so my stat spreads are like this. Next are Intelligence and Arcane and no points were allocated to these stats since we do not need any. Stats are out of the way, let's move on to the Heretical Samurai's equipment. As usual, all of my items locations will be linked in the description section below along with a build showcase so stay tuned for that as well. Starting with the build's main weapon and also the star of the show which is the mentioned Blasphemous Blade. This sword requires 22 strength, 15 dexterity, and 21 fate to wield it properly and has both a C rating for strength and dexterity while having B for fate. Moving on to its skill and the thing that makes this build god tier is the Taker's Flame, a fire-based weapon skill that has an insane damage multiplier and disgusting range. Not only does it hit like an absolute freight train, but this skill will also let the user regain health when damaging enemies which is totally nuts. Pressing L2 will let the user lift the sword in the air and fire off an exploding fire tremors that spits out lava in the process in a straight line manner. A user-friendly skill that can be effective in both single and multiple targets. Moving on to the build secondary weapon and I am using the giant seal for us to access our key buffs for this build and boost our giant flames incantations later on. Weapons are out of the way, let's move on to spells. The first on the list is flame grant me strength incantation for an additional 20% physical damage attack boost and stamina recovery buff. The second buff on the list is of course our staple golden vow. This buff increases overall damage by 15% and adds 10% damage negation which is very helpful for this build. There is no question that the Blasphemous Blade can take out anything in the game, however, we all know that spamming this skill over and over may bore us over time, so I decided to add a little more spice to its gameplay by adding offensive incantations for variety and versatility purposes. I suggest slotting in Giant Flame Stake D for range attack purposes. Since we already have an insane amount of fate stat, this incantation will also hit hard especially when dealing with bosses or clearing out enemies with its insane blast radius. A fun thing to note is you can use this incantation to stagger or knock back fast moving targets and once they are down, finish them with Taker's Flames. 
Adding icing on the cake is by slotting in flame fall upon them incantation. Instead of the concentrated explosion that a giant flame take deep provides, you can burn down targets with multiple scattering fireballs for variety and fan factor purposes. But before anything else, only 6% of you who watch the channel regularly are subscribed, so help the channel by subscribing today. It's free anyway and I will thank you forever. If you can hit that like button as well, it will surely help me a lot. Join our Discord server as we are building an empire where you can find like-minded people who love the same genre. Also comment down below what builds you want me to cover next as more builds coming. Now back into the video. Spells are out of the way, moving on to my suggested talismans for this build. The first talisman on the list is our staple Shard of Alexander. This provides a 15% skill damage increase, especially when performing the Taker's Flame skill. Since we are dealing with fire damage in this build, I suggest slotting in Fire Scorpion Charm. Its 12% additional fire damage bonus will bolster our overall damage across the board. But the caveat is, it will increase your physical damage taken by 10%. The next talisman on the list is the Talisman of the Dread. This talisman increases magma damage by 14% and the Blasphemous Blade Staker's Flame skill is counted as a magma damage source, making it even more insane. To counter the Fire Scorpion Charm's negative effect, I suggest slotting in Dragon Crest Great Shield for an additional 20% physical damage negation. It will increase your overall survivability especially when you are not used to the build's playstyle. The first slot is kinda flexible and once you get used to the build's playstyle and don't get hit often, you can change the Dragon Crest Great Shield to Karyan Filigreed Crest, especially if you find yourself using the incantations more often. Moving on to the Great Runes and I suggest using Godric's Great Rune for the plus 5 stats across the board. These additional stats can give us more survivability and more damage. Now that the main equipment is out of the way, let's move on to the Heretical Samurai's Armor Set. I am wearing Briar Set pieces while retaining the Land of Reed's Helm to preserve the build's identity. Not to mention it really looks cool and matches the theme pretty well. If you want to optimize damage even further, you do have an option to equip the full Rakshasa set for a whopping additional 8% all damage across the board. Moving on to my Flash of Wonders Physique combination, since this build heavily relies on fire damage, I highly suggest using Flame Shrouding Crack tier for an additional 20% fire damage bonus, paired with Opaline Hard tier to have that 15% damage negation. As usual, if you want to deal the most damage possible, the Blood Sucking Crack tier is beneficial for this build. You will have more damage multiplier in exchange for health loss per second. The Taker's Flame's Lifesteal will circumvent the HP loss per second of this crack tier. However, only use this if you are already used to the build's playstyle since it can lead to more deaths. Moving on to the pros and cons of this setup and I think the pros of this setup are super obvious. The Taker's Flame is insanely strong like it will take a few skill usage to take down a boss. What I want to focus on is its insane range. You will be having the best of both worlds here as you can deal tons of damage while you can also maintain your absurd distance. But note that you will also deal higher damage at point blank range. Also the lifesteal mechanic of this build is beneficial for beginners as it can be a damage or health loss mitigation mechanic where the user will regain a considerable amount of health when damaging enemies in the process. Just in case you mistimed this skill and got hit by a boss, you will regain the health loss in no time. Another thing is by just holding the Blasphemous Blade, every time you kill enemies with your incantations, this setup will also regain a little bit of health which is a good bonus. The gameplay of this build is pretty straightforward as well. Before or when the battle starts, what I usually do is cast Golden Vow and Flame Grant Me Strength and pop my Flash of Wonders Physique to gain the additional buffs. Then I will try my best to deal the best damage possible during this burst opener since all of your buffs are active you will be dealing tons of damage in the process. The positives of this setup are pretty obvious but this setup has its own negatives as well just like any other build. Although I find the Taker's Flame animation takes a fair amount of time before going off, it still takes time and the user will be locked to its animation, making the user open for attacks. Beginners will surely die a lot at first, especially when dealing with fast moving targets. However, it can be forgiving in a sense because of the lifesteal mechanic of the Taker's Flame. Another con that I can think of is the Taker's Flame can hit flying enemies. However, we can easily disregard this since we already have our incantations to deal with the said enemy types. Now you may think how this setup performs against fire resistant enemies. Well, it's not an issue as the Taker's Flame can still hit a ton thanks to its insane damage multipliers. Yes, you will be hitting less but enemies will surely die in less time. 
Overall, the Heretical Samurai is one of the strongest builds that I made so far, and its super strong attacks can delete enemies into existence, making the game a little trivial in all aspects. Comment down below which weapon would you like me to do next. And if you made it this far, I just want to say that I appreciate you. As always, give this video a like as it helps me a lot, and subscribe for more builds soon. Now, if you want to shred enemies like butter or learn how to build the strongest build currently, these build videos are for you. Thank you for watching and I will catch you on the next one.